I came to California in, uh, in 1959, after I got out of high school, and, and uh, that tells how old I am. First time I'd ever seen a chop Charlie Davidson was out here. And uh, coming from Kansas City, they didn't have anything like that back there. Everybody's riding uh, Triumphs and BSAs and so on. And uh, I saw these people with earrings and long hair, and, and uh, we'd see just packs of bikes coming down to PCH at night. And uh, all you see was just chrome sparkling and, uh, and the glitter and all the people and the noise. And it was like just a huge parade and having a, a weekend run. So uh, it just always fascinated me, and I started doing uh, little sketches and paintings. I had the first Harley Davidson that was chopped in Kansas City. I put my bike in a show, and I met these guys from uh, Iowa that came down, and they had a chopped Harley, and it put mine to shame. But in the meantime, I had a painting that I did, the scene of all the bikes going up the uh, uh, the hill with uh, Hollywood and all the lights in the, in the background. And uh, I had that painting set by my bike. Well, Tiny from uh, Sioux City saw the painting and he took some pictures of it. And uh, he sent the pictures to Big Daddy Roth. And Roth at that time was in the car business and, and uh, building custom cars and hot rods. And he uh, he liked the painting and decided to make a poster of it. I guess a lot of styles, from what I've heard, have taken off from, from my paintings. Say I'd maybe exaggerate a front end uh, a little bit or, uh, or a rake on a, on a frame. And uh, I did it accidentally, not meaning to, because I had no idea that uh, long front ends were going to be a style for a while. The painting I did for my gang was uh, some of the old people that I idolized when I was writing for a while in a, uh, in a club. Tiny's the one in the center. He's the one that started me with, the, uh, uh, with Ed Roth. He's the one I dedicated the book to. I wouldn't be anywhere right now if it wasn't for him pushing me or getting me started. Then there was Gray Cat. He was always a wild one, a little off the wall and different, and uh, he's living in the, uh, in the North Woods now, in Minnesota. And then there's Dan, he was an old uh, uh, rodeo rider, and uh, one of the best motorcycle riders that I've ever seen. He could do things on a, on a motorcycle, it was unbelievable. And then there's Tom, and he was innovative, and his, uh, style of, uh, of shifting and uh, I was always coming up with something different and uh, there's Skip and I still stay in touch with all of them and uh, Skip in fact just uh, he's out here now and he just did my motor and transmission for my bike and uh, so we all stay in touch with each other and it's it's nice to have that it's great to ride into Hollywood on a Friday night or a Saturday night Everybody is splitting lanes, doing wheel stands, showing off, and everybody was trying to razzle-dazzle each other and, and uh, be a little bit cooler than everybody else. And the girls would find you. You wouldn't have to go looking for them. The Ghost Rider painting was one of my favorites, and I used a friend's bike uh, as a model. And the, uh, the person on the bike is fictitious. And he's the uh, sort of the epitome of, of what a motorcycle rider should be. The long hair, the beard, the uh, uh, jacket flapping in the breeze. You know, he's just peeling out, having too much fun. The Pony Express riders uh, had balls. They were young. They were orphans mostly. You know, their life expectancy wasn't anything, but they tried to have their own freedom, their personal freedom, and it was a tough job. And I can relate that to, uh, to motorcycle riders. All the Elements was one of my favorites because this whole thing was, has been about having fun and enjoying life and freedom. And that kind of puts it all into one little condensation there that uh, 
shows it, that we've got everything there, just got to go for it and, and enjoy it. And uh, don't let the bastards get you down.